Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Wherever you're watching this, back out today again, today again, again, because love it. <laughs> so really good. Trench. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what you've lost your voice for goodness sake. Because <laughs> we went to, a, to see bands and the bands that we went to see didn't, didn't, didn't do the bands. So sad, but I, I sang two other bands. <laughs> and now my voice sounds really good and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels great. And Today we are gonna go to my lovely woods and trench. Found look at trench. Do a trench look. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I do <laughs> the talking and the editing and stuff. I'm driving at the moment, so excuse I'm not gonna have lots of eye contact with you. <laughs> but today we're going to Holly's Woodlands, where we found, upon inspection last time, there are some old World War trenches. So upon inspecting these trenches, we're going to go and swing a detector around and see what else we can find. Well, not only that on this video, we, uh, towards the end of the video, we went to another field. Well, me and Holly both had a bit of silver. And you know, metal detecting is always a good day when you find a bit of silver. Mm -hmm. So we're off out today, a bit of metal detecting, uh, but our main point of call today is these war trenches, which I'm sure are from World War II training trenches from what I can gather. Um, and they go in the whole zigzag line mm -hmm. and there's reasons why they did a zigzag line in trenches it's so the enemy didn't go down there and just go in a line and like everyone unalived unalived um, yeah so that's what we're doing today uh, that's I mean if we could find anything on in, that would be nice anything from World War like a cat badge or something I mean anything uh, anything earlier than that Oh, that'd be amazing because this woodlands actually does have Roman in it. Uh, we have proven this before. Roman treasure. Roman actual treasure, actual treasure case of Roman. So we are still searching for obviously the older stuff. Um, but if I could have a nice bit of like Roman gold, I mean. Okay, now you're now you're pushing it a bit. <laughs> All right, without further ado, don't forget you get ten percent off at Dragon Muck Detecting. No, it's Dragon Detecting. Before I get it wrong. <laughs> Uh, links in the description below. It is Christmas. Get your. It says ballsy. It says ballsy. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas. Oh, I got snacks. Oh, holy snack time! Are you doing a snack time now? Yeah, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show now. Okay. I got zits. I got more coffee. I got chicken satay skewers. I got. More chicken satay skewers. I got a cheeseburger sausage roll. I got a hot dog and ketchup sausage roll. I got nonce nugget popcorn. I got crispy mint terry chocolate orange things. Wait, wait, wait. The popcorn, did you just call it? I'm a chocolate cake. <laughs> what? The popcorn, I just tweaked on what you called it. Can't say that. That's what it is, though, isn't it? Look. Oh no, I know, I know it's what it was, but you can't. Oh. <laughs> right, less of this gas in Malarkey. We're off digging to try and find some treasure. Hopefully, Roman. If not, towards the end of the video, there's a lovely field bit, and we're in the woodlands. The first half, field, second half. Right, less of this. Let's get to the field. No, the woods. That's it. Mm. Off the job. <laughs> all right, we are in the woods after all that bloody gas in at the beginning. This is the trench work we're looking at here. Holly's in one of the trenches. Uh, oh, it is quite deep, isn't it? So you can see, overburden, when they dug it out. And uh, I'm gonna go with this metal detect and hopefully find some, obviously, war relics. This isn't the only trench system in here as well. There's a couple of trench systems. Down another puff. Here's my puffles. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Uh, but you can see the right angles that they've dug in. Yeah, but hopefully when they're digging out obviously these uh trenches 
it would have unearthed deeper stuff that would have been um, buried. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> but if I stand at the top and show you uh, actually how deep they are by looking down upon a holly, they are actually quite deep trenches, believe it or not. I mean, you got your knees, you can... Huh? Especially in this corner. Yeah. There's a couple of trench works as well. This is just one of them. I think there's about three of them. We spotted yeah, over, over here, over yonder. So yeah, we're going to give it a good old bash and see what comes up. What's inside Holly's? She just dug. <laughs> <gasps> Wild wolves. She's right on the bend there as well, so. I heard that, I went woo 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 woo. That's quite deep though. Is it a nice signal? Tin can. Right, do you want a hand down there? Huh? Do you want a hand? Oh, coming down the trench. Right. Put your pinpointer in. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a bit more this way, I think. God, yeah, some roots there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. right, the joys of digging in the woods. Can you, like can you see if that's moved, though? If it's quite... If it's still at the bottom or is it actually... Do you have that problem with your pinpointer that sometimes you have to, you, you turn it on and then it doesn't do anything and then you have to turn it off and then back on and it works? No. Just need them. Oh, it is more further this way. <sighs> right. I can't quite tell the proper tone. Sorry to fill in your... Oh, God, that is bloody deep. Right, go on then. Oh, my God. It sounds quite big. Can you imagine like a helmet or something? I don't. Well, it's right. Oh, my God, that is. Ah, that's deep iron. Oh, no. I can feel that crunch yeah. there. I mean, that could just be where they've reinforced the trenches with iron. But yeah, I can hear it. You can hear, listen to that crunch. Yeah. It's great. It's definitely deep iron. Uh, do you want to just... Yeah, I can see it from here. Right, that's bloody deep though. Cool. Carry on. Just so you know, the reason we didn't dig out that Holly's big iron signal is because most of it will be uh, corrugated iron here, like this. Reinforced, um, obviously, the trenches. Uh, this trench work actually follows through the actual field as well, an adjacent field which we don't actually have permission to detect, but we do have permission for the woods. So yeah, you can see the trench work goes there. And beyond the fence there, it actually follows through onto the field in a zigzag pattern. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Let's keep going though. Let's try and find some, uh, I'll be happy today with a cat badge or military button, or hopefully the older Roman stuff, but you never know. Um, that was a very small bit of trench. We just found a bit of iron in a post. Um, I did speak to Lando and apparently someone has detected these trenches before and they found cat badge and stuff, but they may miss stuff. So we move on to the second lot of trenches. This is a proper zigzag one. Let's see if I can show it to you. It's like proper ziggy and zaggy. So I don't know if they've done this one or maybe just the first lot of trenches. But uh, it's all overgrown. <laughs> Right, there's trench, it follows the route here and then it hangs to the left. Yoink, here. And then it zigzags, go right and left up here. So, yeah. Oh, this looks like more promising as well, this one. We'll do these trenches, I think. We'll do these ones now. Onto a bit of a shallower part of the trench here, but I've got a lovely seat. It seems a bit too high. Do you want something a bit too good? It seems like it's on the surface, but uh, actually, let's just get the pinpoint ring of a wiggle. That's the... Uh, that's 
why. Right, big tin can. We'll always take your rubbish with you. The next time we come here, we won't be digging it up. All right, finally, a bit of luck. Uh, you can see there where the trench is. I'm doing a top wall. I'm thinking, well, if, if you're playing soldiers and stuff, you'd be leaning over the top. And uh, it's probably a coin from around the period. So, yeah. It's a three decimal penny. It's very, very gone. Put it on to the first coin of the day. Uh, actually, let's get a toothbrush on that. I don't really do that on three decimal pennies, but we're investigating the trenches. I'm going to see if it's the same sort of time period, which I think it will be. So yeah, anything from sort of uh, the 1900s to the 1950s, really. Well, I had a queen up with some squirt and a toothbrush, but I don't, it's, it's too far toasted, this one. But I am going to say that's of, of the time period of the... Is that maybe a portrait there? Yeah, possibly. But still, let's keep going. Ooh, <clears throat> he's found a spoon. It's complete. Now, will this have the word naffy on it? Which would be pretty cool if it did, because that is uh, military. I don't think it is military. It's a bit too fancy for a military spoon. But uh, military ones have the words naffy on the handle. And it would have been quite legible. But yeah, I don't think that is. I think that's a bit just too um, fancy for a military spoon. But yeah. Keep going. Holly's managed to find a footpath that crosses the trench and she's, uh, what you found? Oh, that's just a crimped pipe fitting. I think, although it does. Oh. Hmm. Can't tell by the weight of it because it's it might be. Oh, I don't know. It's a strange one, that. I'm gonna try and get the mud out. Yeah. Oh, like a stick. Oh wait, no, flimsy. Flimsy. Oh. Yeah, I don't like it a bit. I think it is just a pipe fitting. But anyway. You had anything? Uh, I had a spoon and a coin. Lovely. So. Anything good? What coin? Yeah. yeah a pre decimal penny, but it's probably of the same era of the trenches. So. Mm. I sustained cool. an injury again. You've hurt yourself again. Oh my lord. I need a bigger stick. That's what she said. Was well, just walking away and Holly goes, oh that sounds nice. Literally exactly like that as well. I said, worth a live dig? She goes, no, no my luck, it'll probably be rubbish. But I can see it. Go right. Oh no, I thought it was a coin. Hello. Doesn't that look like a coin there on the leaf? It does from here. Is it a bit of foil? Bloody Rubbish. Bloody tunnocks bloody tea cake. <laughs> Gold foil. Should illegal. be banned. Right. Should be illegal. Off a drop. <laughs> Just over the berm of the trenches, bottle top. Ray up all right, but it's just the bottle tops so that could be one of the lads having a nice beverage. <sighs> just found this part of an old toy car. I think it, looking at the back of it, it looks like a Mark II Golf. So, yeah, that's a shame. It's my favourite car, Mark II Golf. And uh, I think that might have been the bonnet. The rest of it's not to be found though. It's literally just here, so. Hey ho, let's keep going. Out of here came this. I don't know what it is. Holly just sent me this picture of looks like fine jewellery but got a knobbly loop there would have been possibly joined here and here what's that little bottom maybe that's the outside to like a pocket watch mm -hmm. but I'm thinking maybe it could be the G word but it feels a bit light <laughs> 
Oh, I don't know. Let me have a clean up of that. Yeah, as the rain comes down, I'm looking at that, and I think that is gold. I think that's low quality, nine carat gold. It's a bit of, I think it is. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it would have gone round. Let's get a nice macro focus on that. Um, an old pocket watch, like a decoration. But the fact none of it is tarnished at all. Yeah, I think you just found a little bit of nice bit of gold, Holly. Well done. Oh, exciting. <laughs> oh, the rain is coming down. I thought it was onto a ring then, but it's just a bit of aluminium, screwed up aluminium. So yeah, oh, bit of a shame. But anyway, let's keep going. As the rains are coming down, I've just had this out of the hole. I'm very tarnished, it's very heavy. I think that's lead. But no idea what it is, it's like a little lead hat of some description. But yeah, I have no idea what that is. Still, any ideas? Let me know in the comments below. Look at those holes. Off the drop. A ridge of another trench, and I've just uh, investigating. I think I want a coin. Uh, I think that's just a modern 20p. But look how tarnished that is. Yeah, more than 20p, that rain is coming down. Thank God it's waterproof and so is my skin. Yeah, 20p, cool. Another coin for the pot. I'm on two coins today. Get in, get in, fill in the hole and off we trot. Yeah, another trench. I'm doing along the tops of them. They seem to have better luck than if I do down the bottom. I think I want another coin. I think that's another. Three decimal penny, I think. Oh, the rain's lovely. Let's have a clean up. Let's see if this one comes out any better. Probably not. All oh, weather detectorist, me. Uh, yeah, I'm squatty as well. Hopefully, get a bit of silver so I can get an actual prominent date. That's got a thicker ridge on the outside there. I just think it still is a three decimal penny. All right, let's crack on. Aha, uh -huh. I have found something military. This here is a part of the bottom of a pole. Uh, it would have been like a cam net pole. It's got the screw at the bottom there and it would have had the pole sitting in there. So yeah, that's that would have been. And it's right at the bottom of the tray, trust me. I don't know how well it's coming out of camera. The yoink. Let's keep going. I will try a live signal. This is a pinger, sounds too good to be true. And it's right near a route. Actually, this might be a bad idea, actually. Can't do a live dig near a route. No, that seemed to be all right. That seemed to be okay. Didn't seem too deep as well. But it's still in there. Uh, Aha. Remnants again of the war, it's a shrapnel. That's why it gave a lovely good signal then. A bit of shrapnel. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, sounded a bit like more shrapnel out of this hole here. And I clicked it and then blink blink uh, another coin. Uh, oh, it's a threepenny bit. It's not as old as I expected. It's got a port colour sat side. But yeah, it rang up just like shrapnel that did. There you go. It's a threepenny bit. So three pence. So it looks like the modern pound coins we got today. It's a sign of history repeating itself, I suppose. Right, let's crack on. And he's on to something. It sounds like a coin, but it isn't. It's a military baton. Um, so yeah, from the training. Pretty cool. I want to find a cat badge now or an insignia button. That'll give us a regiment, unless it's general service military buttons, which is the ones with the unicorn and the horse. No, lion and unicorn. Is it lion and unicorn? Or, yeah. All right, anyway, just button. Button. Up and flop. I can see something right here. Looks like a little dog tag or something. Make sure there's no phone number I'm displaying. What does it say? Coco. Oh, it says Coco. 
this last and then the number. Sesame on the back. I am mi microchipped and then the person's name. Beneath two ferns, <laughs> we have Jenny Wren. Uh, that's quite... Oh, it's broken, that's why. Oh, so you break your dog lead, so you just chuck it in the woods. Uh, well done. Well done, you. You turn it, whoever had this. Broken dog lead, I don't need it anymore. I'm just going to launch it in a litter in the woods. Absolute turn it. Right, well, I am taking that with me. Twit. I'm onto like a freaking giant wing nut. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Uh, I don't know that could have been off. Still, something old found in the ground. Right, off the flop. And out of here, something interesting. I'm not quite sure on that. Right at the bottom of this tree, I've got a pistol round, been fired. But it makes you wonder if they're using the tree as target practice. I might run my metal detector up the tree and see if there's any bullets actually lodged in the tree. It means they're using the tree as a bit of a target practice thing. But yeah. Let's have a go, shall we? Give it a go. Be able to hear if there's a bullet stuck in it, you'd be able to hear it. But no, nothing, nothing but tree. He's onto another coin here. This be about a penny size. Oh, is it just a modern penny? Why is it not? I think that's just a modern penny. Damn it. All right, let's wait a minute. Has that got a milled edge on it? No, it's just my fingerprint making it look milled. Right, just a penny, I'm gonna call it. Let's go. I second doubted myself then. I thought this was a penny. Uh, I gave it a little bit more of a wipe. It didn't feel right. I and mean, it is a milled edge. There's a bit of silver poking through there. So that might be a little sixpence. Let's then get a better clean up of it. Surely a bit of silver wouldn't be this tarnished, but definitely look at that top end there. Let's get the toothbrush out and give it a good old rub and see what comes of it. So, I was wrong and I was right to second doubt myself. 50% silver sixpence. It's a... Uh, like it's poor light and bad focusing. I did have a date off it. There you go, I think it's 19... 20... In 1923, silver sixpence. Yeah, so I was like, look at the condition of that. You'd just think, oh. Look, I did give it a clean up. Bit of silver. Whoop, whoop. Oh, my heart skipped a beat then. There's obviously an old tree here that's been fallen and has a lovely banging signal. And it was, uh, I thought, oh my God, someone's buried a hoard underneath this tree. And it wasn't. It looks to be an old bicycle light looking at it. Um, little bicycle light fitting and again I thought it might have been an axe head because of the shape and I saw the the hole holes there which I think I think it's an old uh, bicycle light yeah cool let's crack on I think I found the pistol casing to the actual bullet I found earlier that's a casing I'm going to say 9mm, but I might be wrong. Maybe I can just get it to do a doodah. I think, there we go. Uh, yeah, you can't get it. I forgot about that. That's toasted. Maybe of a fine toothpick and a bit of patience. But other than that, still bullet casing. In the trench is no doubt. I am digging up so much of the shrapnel stuff here now. Uh, maybe they're using the trenches, obviously, for like practicing against shield themselves from grenades but back in the day there was no health and safety around so they're probably using live ordnance to say like yeah if you get hit well survival of the fittest darwin awards and all that but yeah lots and lots of shrapnel coming up now 
and just like that, bloody blue skies, I'm drenched. So it's Holly, Holly's just messaging me saying she's drenched. Good old British weather, can't fault it. Uh, I'm going to go on to the older part of the woods now, I'll finish with the trenches. Um, I'm just inundated with shrapnel, all that shrapnel galore. And there's the older part of the woods, uh, an old ancient footpath goes cuts through. So I'm going to go and give that another scan and hopefully so I get something a bit older. Because you know me, I love the old history, a bit like uh, Roman or even medieval. I'll even, I'll even hands down, a bit of Georgian, <laughs> a bit of Georgian. But yeah, I love history and I love finding it. Holly's got some gold already, can't believe that. Go and try and find the older part of the woods and you watch. I'll probably find a cat badge down there. <laughs> Off a trot. Well, I'm on the old footpath and the first decent signal pops out. It's a big old chunky coinage. What's that? Gotta be careful. I think it's a two shilling coin. Yeah, it is. Let's get a nice. Yoink. Is that gonna be a silver persuasion though? No, it's going to be half crown even. There you go, 1950s there. Uh. So it's going to be half crown. Let's get a clean up. See if it's full glory. But yeah, big old chunky boy. That would have been silver. It's a little bit older. Damn, yeah. All right. That definitely come out better condition than I expected it to. All the coins out in the woods seem to come out absolutely toasted. Uh, yeah, 1950s, half crown. Big old chunky coin. And that one has got a milled edge. You can see this, it would have been a silver in colour, but it's copper and nickel. But still. Put in the hole, off the I think I've got an old uh, military buckle, possibly. Ring for right view. Was that Georgian? Uh, yeah, we'll have had. Yeah, we'll have had the bar going straight across the middle of military. Yeah, I think. I'm not just sure. Still, buckle, not flop. Looks like this be a coin. It's a button in it. Yeah. Little button. Is that a coin I can see? It is. Cool, that is beyond toasted. Mm, there somewhere. Oh, yeah. um, I don't know on that one. Boss man or no. We can just... It's got to be a Georgian though, isn't it? Be. No? I don't know. No. No, not a clue. Maybe after I've cleaned it. Literally a step away from where I just had that other coin. And I got another one. Cool, it's so toasty. Oh. Is that, is that King George? Oh, my hands are cold. I think I might have another little coin or a button. Oh, little coin. A little 5p or something. Yeah, little 5p. Obligatory musket ball. He's still got his little nubbins on. Unfired little thing. Look at the size of that one. That's absolutely huge. So, so gross. It's almost slimy. That is massive. That'd give you a bit of a uh, sore head if that came at you. A ring, and I want it to be a ring. Mm. Let's 
still got threads in it. Yeah, not old. Lame. And out of here, something interesting. I'm not quite sure on that. Another little point coin pop out. There he is, King George. Let's go and see what Ollie's found. What have you been finding, Holes? Lots of coins. Lots of coins? Oh, damn it. I thought I could be winning on coins. How many coins you got? I think five. Maybe one. Okay. Mm. Old ones or pre decimal? Maybe mm, one. Uh, pre decimal penny, pre decimal penny, pre decimal heart. No. Oh, that's not, that's a dog tag. Yeah, I've already covered up the, oh. the thingy. And uh, a 5 EP. Yeah. And it was another coin there. What's the, you sent me a picture of this. And I didn't know what this may be. Possibly, uh, is that mesh? Oh, is that just, it might be a bead of something. Yep, that's what I think. A little. Like a Pandora bead. Yeah. Because they're not exactly known for quality, are they? No. <laughs> it's very light as well. Very, yeah. very light. And we've already seen this, you jammy. Do you know what? Now I picked it up again. It's definitely got weight to it. Yeah. Have you posted it on your socials and see what... What's not, not that? Yet, no. I don't know. I just had it. Like just now. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, bottom of a lantern. Sweet. Would have had the gas thing. It would have helped the... I love gold. Yeah, jammy sod. Enough. Jammy sod. Oh, it's only a little bit of gold, but gold's gold. And it. I know. <laughs> Jam. No, but I'm going to ask people what they think it is. Actually, I'll do that now. I, should, I thought we have not put it on socials yet. No. I think it's part of a, like, a like decorative a, bit of a pocket watch yeah. or something. You know, so. Um, like the, what it comes across to me is, you know, you, you'll have like the two pieces of the pocket watch. Mm -hmm. like the front casing, back casing. Yeah. Maybe the bit that goes, almost the bit that, you know, joins them together. Yeah. Like a decorative seam sort of thing, possibly. Who knows? I'm sure people in the comments will be like, I know what that is. Yeah. So we will uh, I'll post now. Are we very soaking wet? Yeah, I feel like I smell damp as well. Yeah. Like, mm, I've got mm. a hole in my welly. Look. See they all new wellies? Yeah. The ones that... Oh, I was aiming so people can see the hole. It's really annoying because I've holly, got these... Holly, 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 holly. Shut up. I literally got these just before Rodney Cook. And now it's just gone. And they had all nice fleecy inside, and now it's just damp. You got wet foot. Trench foot. Lovely. Yeah. Mm. Really? Um, someone wants an update actually on that black beard coin I found on my last video. I've done some research on it, and apparently it came from sugar puff cereal from the 1970s. So it wasn't actually Blackbeard's treasure. It was a. Uh, oh, technically, it was, because it said. Apparently they come in like a pack of four and you can collect them. You had all different pirates on it. Why don't they put prices in cereal? Because generations of today... Um, Idiots and we'll just eat it. There we go. Yeah. That's why Kinder Natural Eggs... selection. Exactly. That's why Kinder Eggs are illegal in America. Ugh. Because they have toys <laughs> inside chocolate. <laughs> so you can't actually have Kinder Eggs because they've got a toy inside it's chocolate. And, uh, well, yeah, you know. Right, let's just uh, gas them like anything you want to say, apart from 10% discount code at Dragon Detecting. Apart from the sad news we heard about today, one of our favourite events ever happening, which we've been to about three of them. Uh, Rodney Cook Memorial is an octo pair one on this year, which is a bit shame. Just going to be little no frills weekenders. Yeah, the big weekend not, not of Rodney the, Cook. Not the big just... boy, that was most favourite. Oh, well. All of our friends there. Hopefully we'll try to go to one of the no frills and still see our friends and whatnot. Uh, a bit chilly this morning, isn't it? It's all right now we've come out of that wind. Just my, my fingers are cold. On that big knoll up there, it's a bit bit blowy, but I managed to um, tuck ourselves away under some trees and whatnot. But yeah, we've had loads of animals off this field. How many animals you had? Uh, I had my first cut quarter, I think. You said the first cut quarter. And my juice harp. And I had another hammer. Jaw harp. And... Stop. I can't remember <laughs> what else. <laughs> I've had about 
nine or ten hammers of this field. They're mainly cut halves as well, which is very all of the same time period, which I think are Herculean. Yeah, Henry the Third Void Longcross. That seems to be the, the theme of this field. I have had a couple of Tudor ones, and mainly Victorian. But we've tried a different part of the field, one I haven't really done, but we'll see what comes up. I haven't really done this one because I littered with 303s and sometimes you can't persevere. But today we're going to persevere. Got a few hours out. Right, let's just gas the malarkey. What have, I, what have I missed anything? Onwards. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. There you go. And apologies about my uh, focusing on my camera. What can I say? I, I can only use the it's tools. Apple, it's Apple doing Apple things. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. It's like, we're going to make your camera not focus as much. So I'll tell you what though. I ha no, i tell you what, I had more luck with my iPhone 11 than I have with this, whatever this phone is I've got on the end. Yeah, you've had like focusing issues on yours pretty much since you've had it. Yeah, but my iPhone 11, which I think I've donated to my son or something, uh, that camera is amazing. It focused perfectly fine. The new one I thought, oh, new fancy new cameras, and it doesn't really work as well as my old one. It's like, don't go and buy the new fangangled malarkey stuff because sometimes it won't work as well as the stuff. Yeah. I do think it might just be yours though. My phone. Yeah, mine's all right. Well, how about you do a lot more filming today and try and get it in focus and stuff on the floor to your hand, okay. and we'll, 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 you can have a look yourself. Okay. And in that case, we'll swap phones. <laughs> Off a drop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my first signal on today's hunt it seems to be a little Tudor baton. Uh, yeah, that is in focus. No, it's not. My bloody phone <laughs> just makes his mind up. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the focus of my phone for a second, shall we? Right, this focusing thing, my phone has like three cameras on the back. And it chooses to, obviously, put things in focus at its discretion. It thinks I'm filming the floor, so it'll put the floor in focus. Oh, it won't do it now, it's going to call me a liar. They put this back up here and it shows you. Yeah, bloody annoying. Um, yeah, just a little chew the button. Look. <laughs> I only just got on the bloody field. Literally, only just got on, Holly's already on two coins. <laughs> Have a look. Have a look at my coins. Uh, that's looking Georgian-esque. Very batter Georgian-esque. This one's a different colour. What colour is this one? Ugh. Oh, that's a sixpence that's been really, 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 really worn. Possibly. Yeah, I'm going to say, because it's got like a milled edge going on there. Yeah, it's just a little predestined sixpence, I think. But still, jaws in the sixpence, straight off. Lucky you! <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try a live dig. It's a... I think I know what it's going to be, though. Straight into this bit of a... I think that's going to be... An intact 303. I guess, I think that's going to be a 303. It's quite high. Ugh. Probably not high enough to be shrapnel, but I think it's going to be an intact 303. Um, please surprise me into something like, I don't know, the Pharaoh's lost gold. Oh. Still in the hole, I've missed it, I've missed it, it's further back. Oh, I think I can see some in there. Actually, poking that wink me in the eye. I think it's a bit of shrapnel, damn it. Right, just a little bit of a shrapnel. Still, let's keep going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm onto something a bit different. It seems to be part of a buckle, maybe. Look at that. It's a very strange part of a buckle, if it is. It's got, ah, I know what that is. That's the teeth to a bigger buckle. And it would have swung on there and it would have gone in. So yeah, that's the teethies of a, uh, I want to say medieval. So yeah. Or a little, little American football goalpost or rugby post for ants. Cool. All right, um, on this field, I told you it's full of three of threes. I have just laid, um, three of them out there, there's one there look. and they all bring up between 81 and um, in the 70s and 81 there's, because they're not 
all complete. You've got bits here that are broken, uh, bits here, some of them are complete. So ringing up all over the shop. This, I've done quite a few up, rang up in the same sort of area. And uh, yeah, I think I wanted some silver. I don't think it's old, I think it's a silver sixpence in the clod. Uh, but still, mustn't grumble. So it's worth persevering over this spot to find a bit of silver. I think Holly has just had some silver up as well. But I wonder if she dug half as many buttons and shrapnel as I have today. Uh, we'll soon find out. We'll catch up around a bit. But yeah, bit of silver. Crack on. I mean, as I hold this shrapnel and these bullets in my hand, especially this time of year, yeah, yeah we see it as junk. Uh, we see it as, you know, we're after the older stuff. But this is history too, and holding a hand, especially, you know, the men that lost their lives in World War Two and World War One. It's just some of this stuff here meant so much to people. I mean, yeah, it's on a training area, or an old training area, but some of the men that fired these aren't here or lost their lives fighting for the freedom of our country, and it's just fits into a little bit of a different perspective for me, I think. I'm ex forces myself, so yeah. Let's crack on. It's time for a live. Fab alive. It's a nice pinger. I have been caught out many times with shrapnel, and I have been caught out many times with bullets. Um, Let's try and give this one a whirl, shall we? It does sound a bit round. Oh, something I can see come out there. No, there. It did sound rounder in the ear. So yeah, I was rewarded oh, with a coin. Nothing left, much left on it though. Still, it's a coin. Let's crack on. Just caught up with Ollie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Ollie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Your fingers are really cold. Your fingers are really cold, yeah. Look, look at the state of this. The, the weather's changing. Oh, yeah. Whoa, it's like that wasn't there last time. Vampire teeth. Vampire teeth. It's silver. That's for killing werewolves, not vampires, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it looks like it would have been stamped in there. I can see like the beginning of the word silver, S or... Uh, yeah, it's got some weight to it, hasn't it? Stubby, mm -hmm. stubby. Shall I stick it in my teeth? I'm be a vampire. One second. I was going to... <laughs> I've come to suck your blood. Special, uh, special vampire. I eat carrots. <laughs> I can make him grow up. <laughs> ah. yeah, maybe don't. <laughs> ah. How little teeth you've got. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> I've got new ones. <laughs> I think I've got a little silver Tudor button. You can see where it was in the clod. It's all corroded into the mud, and it flops out into my hand. Yeah, it feels like a musket ball. Yeah, it feels heavy like a musket ball, but that patina, it could just be a musket ball, a pistol ball. But why is it corroded through like that? No, it's a little bit lighter. Oh, you make it clean up. I mean, you think that might be silver. Two seconds. I've got wet legs, man. Um, yeah, I'm not sure on that, you know. I'm not sure. I don't think it is silver, but it doesn't seem heavy enough to be an obligatory musket ball of the day. It's a strange one. It's a strange one. But anyway, crack on. Mm -hmm.